Good evening and welcome to the Highgate Select Board meeting for September 1st, 2022. Our first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all for coming. Is there anything for public comment that is not on the agenda? Okay. Again, we're hoping Sue is doing well. Shelby, how's it going? Good. Good. Uh, first off, thanks, Sharon, for coming in and being interrogated by the lovely auditors again this year. Hopefully they didn't beat you up as bad as they beat me up this afternoon. <laughs> no, for me it was painless. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, for me, not so much. Uh, so you can start a check warrant. Okay. Check warrant from you. Has so everyone had a chance to look at the check warrant? Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I have a motion to sign? So moved. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Signing that. Um, next, a uh, quick delinquent tax update. Uh, I did receive another payment today that's not included in this, which would bring it under the 41000 but um, the report that's on your table and the last one I updated, $41,467.58. Um, we're getting ready to mail the new tax bills out on September 15th. So I really hope these people don't get into a snowball situation and get in touch with me. So um, I have a question about that. Sure. So what happens if it's an estate of, so someone has passed away? Uh, How does that work for? There's a few on the list. Mm -hmm. I have been given some contact. Usually the executor of the estate is the one that's taking that's care of fun. things. Um, the estate of Doris Bard in particular has been sent to a few different uh, people that were on that estate and no one has communicated really with me. So it is up for tax sale. Usually that gets uh, family members that are interested involved um, and will light some fires and do something about it. Um, and there are other times, um, as another example, the estate of Bonnie Law, Alan Lampkin, um, still kind of stuck in probate, moving like molasses. So trying to work with any family member that's willing to write um, the estate of Corey Nishi, his son is making payments so it does not go into a tax situation in hopes that he is granted that property through probate. But when there's zero communication, uh, is when I, I will stick it to tax sale, right. usually just to get some attention from somebody, okay. um, and or it will stop. Um, but for the most part, I definitely, you know, I don't want to see that happen. Any other questions on that? Yeah. I was just curious, and I thought maybe we could put plug in for those people that might be part of an estate. Right. Hey, hello, this involves you. Yeah, exactly. Um, next, under me, there is a streetlight agreement in front of you. We briefly touched on it last time, um, and they've sent an agreement to Heidi this week about uh, if you are interested in moving forward with that project, switching over the streetlights to the LED lights to save some money on the electric bill. So the estimated cost of this project is $6,825. Uh, Vermont uh, efficiency Vermont will give us an incentive of thirty nine hundred. Uh, so our net cost after total incentives is two thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars. Uh, but the estimated first year tariff savings is one thousand one hundred fifteen dollars. So simple payback period of two point seven years, and it has an efi efficiency lifetime of twenty five years. I'll make the motion sign that. Yeah, I would say that's a no-brainer. Yeah, no I'll second. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so okay. it is a docu-sign. I am, if you okay. want to make a motion, I can sign it for you, or I can sign it for you, and um, I can print it out for your records. And I'll make that motion. Okay, so we can sign it. Well, okay. Second. All right. 
All those in favor say aye. 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 Get that done. Um, there's another, real quick, Sintaz, which is the uniform company that the highway department uses. Um, we're at the renewal, and they put an addendum on my list. It wasn't in your packet. I just got it today. So I did tell him he may or may not sign it tonight. You might have to wait. Completely up to you. But it's just saying uh, we're going to be at the same pricing for another three years with Sintaz at the same uniform. So that's kind of a... I did speak with the highway department today about it. They are happy with the uniform service and the products that they're receiving. So, okay. A motion? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Okay. Uh, was it just for the second, or did you have something else you wanted to? No, I was going to try to do okay. the motion, but he beat me. So. Okay. So, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's just a nice <laughs> signature. And then uh, lastly, tax bills. Uh, we set the tax rate previously. We are going to print and stuff and mail on September 15th. So be on the lookout. Hopefully the mail delivery service is uh, <laughs> efficient. Efficient, <laughs> yes, and reliable. <laughs> well, I have people, had people ask when are the tax bills coming out. Yes, so. we've had several. And I, last year, I think it was the 16th, so we're right on target. It gives them six weeks. And I also reminded them that the municipal portion of their taxes went down. Yes. So. On both. Yes. non rats and homestead. So, yeah, I think the taxpayers should be as happy as can be for receiving a tax bill. <laughs> I, was, I was grilled about the school and I said, Oop, that's not my thing. <laughs> that's it for me. That's another, another meeting. Unless you have anything else. Okay, anything else for sure. Okay, Wendy. Yeah, I'll be quick. You have minutes from August 18th. Okay. Do I have a motion to sign the minutes? I'll make that motion. Do I second? Was there? Okay. It was Vern. Okay, yep, Vern Richard were there. And all those in favor say aye. 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 Um, other than that, I will just be busy with Shelly with tax bills, and shortly after that, with lots of ballots. Mm -hmm. They actually were going to take the data from our checklist. They said September first, so um, anybody that gets added to the checklist after that, I'm probably going to have to manually, automatically mail ballots. So, October is going to be a fun time. Usually is. Job security. <laughs> Job security, ladies. And that's it for me. Okay. All right. Um, I want to start out with um, the transfer station award. Um, just to cover that, uh, FEMA did make that award, and it's going right to Vermont Emergency Management, and they're going to create a sub-agreement for us. They manage all the funds coming in. So it's less than we requested, because they kicked our contingency down from 20% to 5%. And it has a performance end period of uh, April 2023 which is impossible. So um, what Vermont Emergency Management is saying is in January, there will be an amendment to have the period extended and um, to request that the contingency goes back up. And it's possible that we would have some information about pricing. So um, they said, move forward with that and then as we know more we can amend it for those two things so that is just an update um there is an amendment for the aldergen elliott contract in front of you um, and that is for the airport project they're managing the engineering final design and that is for the archaeological uh, assessment. <laughs> I knew that I was going to get a rye out of you. Um, that is uh, 
a requirement from the state that we perform that, and it was built into the budget. So it's not a shocker. That was a thirty thousand. Was it they they estimated the thirty thousand, and they, the bid came in a little bit lower. Okay, so does anyone have any questions about that? I do. Okay. The archaeological things, I, um, hmm. is that because is there because they think there's a history of something that's going to be found there, or is this for every single project we've got to do this archaeological <laughs> thing? <laughs> it, it happens frequently, uh, but usually you just have to do like what they call a desk. Uh, resource assessment, so someone is reviewing the area, reviewing previous issues, sign, uh, finds, and they make a report. And from that report, they say whether you need a further study or not. And we typically need a further study because uh, Highgate and Swanton both have a lot of sensitive lands. All of them. Pretty much. <laughs> the river. Okay, that's it. That's my own voice. Okay. Do I have a motion to sign? Reluctantly, I'll make the motion. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 And Aldrich and Elliot will be here on the 8th to, to discuss the 60% design. <laughs> Um, the first workforce development meeting happened last night. It was very well attended. They had a good crowd. Me, uh, Beth White and Leanne um, Wright uh, put on a great show. They ran a great presentation. And uh, things are moving along. So they intend to keep moving, uh, keep meeting frequently for a while get a few things done and then try to um, go to quarterly meetings after that. Um, there isn't, um, oh, I need to move into a rec department grant. Um, the rec department wants to have an electrical upgrade done to the front of the arena and we're jumping on a Department of Buildings and Grounds Recreation Grant, which is a maximum $25,000 grant with an equal match required. So the arena has the money in their fundraising account to be used for those matches, and they would like your permission to move forward and to sign the letter of support, please. So I'll tell you what you're doing. There's been a number of electricians in there over the years. A lot of that will be just needs upgrading, cleaning up. The Gore Road end of the building is lacking uh, enough circuits to run what we want to do there. There's no uh, outlets on the exterior of the building on that end. Actually, there's none on the exterior of the building anywhere, but uh, on the back, we get the power out of the new garage. Um, we just bring a bunch of it up to code and clean things up. So to be clear, you're not having any problems at the moment. You're just doing an upgrade. Correct. Okay. Any other questions for John? Okay, do we have a motion? I'll make that motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Um, I uh, shared with Sharon that we've received a request, a request for a FEMA home buyout. Um, and I think um, that more information is requested on that. Um, on the Brousseau Road. Uh, home teetering on a steep slope. So if the town wanted to move forward with that, the state's geologist would have to come out and verify that it was uh, in a precarious 
situation and then um, then we can move forward. <clears throat> but the town has to sponsor. What's the thought of the board? Do we want to look at it? Do we want to let the geologists come and look at it? Archaeologists first. Yeah, I, I even looked at the property at all. Do a little sick visit. I'm not familiar with this one. Did, did, have you guys seen it? Uh, not, not recently, no. I remember when they had to do a fix right next to it. And the road was closed. One lane was closed for quite some time for them to just get the bank to build up and then it gets let go again from the side of it. Okay. So you can go down this town property where the guardrails are, you can go down the bank and take a look. It's a natural cove there that the dam was made and it just keeps just in the back at it. Just mm. Actually, can I have that sheet again? Mm -hmm. I just want to look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do that. So let's uh, table that until we have a chance to just take a peek at it. Unless it's in a danger or falling or is okay. it is that what we're talking about or I I don't I mean it's really hard to say those okay. things. I, I haven't seen it in a few years, so I wouldn't make any statement, but I did not get the impression that it was urgent. Okay. Urgent. She didn't sound like that. So let's uh, let's bring it back up at the next meeting. Okay. Well, take a spin over and go to the bank. And tonight's the FEMA meeting, so one one more FEMA topic. Uh, FEMA brick building resilient infrastructure and in communities um, is a great opportunity. I mentioned to you might be a good fit for long-range planning for the Macy Road, um, and it's opening up and um, applications would be due in January, I believe. So I wanted to um, get your opinion on that. Is that something you want to move forward with? We would be looking for a large planning grant. Uh, I would work with Regional Planning Commission to figure out how much. It's a 75% coverage. Um, there's a fair chance that the state will have funding to put in the other 25, but no guarantees. So, um, well, I think this is going to be. Do we have a plan already? Well, this is for the entire ratio, oh. not just the section that's okay. in imminent danger. It's to go deeper into those questions. What choice do we have? Relocate the Well, we could just do the portion that we're going to do and pretend that we'll be gone by the time the rest of it falls in the river, or we can... I think we should put it on the, put it on the map somewhere. Right. Be proactive and, and see if we can find a, a reasonable plan for the future. To really dig down into the questions of can, should the road be moved? Right, what's right. That, what's that cost? Or right. road closed? You know, or armor the whole bank. Figure out a plan. Um, and that was the intent of uh, Richard Noel and I attending the TAC meetings to get on their priority list um, because that opens up different funding for you. The first. But it also. The archaeological date. Can <laughs> <laughs> do it? <laughs> Um, so I'm going to get a little more information on that and try to put together some kind sure. of understanding of what we would be needing to request. And then, Richard, um, Bird, your thoughts? Yay, yeah. nay? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's make a motion. I make the motion that we get FEMA to brick it. <laughs> Okay. Um, I think that's it for me, unless you had any other questions in the report. So, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's make a motion. Want to clean that motion up a little better to have FEMA look into the brick program? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Cheers.
so that 10 years from now we don't all get sued. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> so we'll, we'll make a motion to um, explore the additional funding opportunity grants in order to see if we can find a long-term solution to the Macy problem. That was a very PC. <laughs> it's yours. I'm giving it to you. Thank you. So I have a second. second. All those in favor say aye. 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 He's on today. He gets three times. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more aggressive. Unless you have any other questions for me yeah, on the report, I am done. Thank you. I do. Could you, I'm hearing a lot about it. You saw really you walking with a lot of people. Could you explain how that meeting went on the 23rd a little bit? Absolutely. It was really great. So it was members from the Vermont Economic Council, and uh, they came to town. I had reached out to them about funding. They have a capital investment plan uh, pool of money. And so I reached out to them to see if they would be able to help us with some of our big projects, you know, new library, redeveloping the village core, and they wanted to come and see. So they, there were four members that uh, came, and we left here and went to the library, and they saw how tiny our library is and what a poor spot it's in for traffic in and out of the gas station. And then we trotted across the road, and. Um, Robert Clark, our engineer for the village wastewater system, was there to give them an overview on that project. Um, and we talked about the potential designs that the um, village core committee has worked on over the years. And, um, and then we hopped in our cars and went down to the airport. And there were uh, brief presentations from the state on their planned upgrade. Uh, presentation from our engineers, Aldridge and Elliott, and then a presentation from um, the private developer, Jim Harrison, Airport Sand and Fill, on their proposed project. And then we went into the workforce development um, projects that are going on with Habitat for Aviation and uh, representatives from the school were there, the superintendent and um, the uh, workforce integration teacher from MBU and the school board um, chair were all there. So it was a great discussion. Um, they were very kind to us and encouraged us to reach out to them in the fall for that funding from that program. Great. Yeah. It was, it was really good. Woody was there. Yeah. There's a lot more home down that airport than I thought there was. No way, huh? So, another thing, Heidi, before we leave you, is um, Public Works radio update. Yes. So, we know we have a problem because we can't get our guys to communicate with each other. Um, and the fire reaches the town, which is a problem, especially if you're on an emergency crew. Um, so we've been trying to get everything in uh, line for that, and I'll let you take it from there. Well, when we started this project, they said, well, you know, the tower's not a big deal, but getting an uh, FCC yeah. license on the uh, Canadian border is tricky. So that could take a long time. Well, we have our license, we've been approved, but the items for the tower are still back ordered. <laughs> so, just as an update, we are moving slowly, uh, forward, but it is very, very slowly. But you got the license. Yeah. We got the license. So, That's yeah, huge. so it's in your packet, you have your license, and as soon as the parts come in, they can put that up. So, that was the ten thousand dollar quote from Rolling the Communications. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Still yeah. sitting in my folder. Still waiting for that. So hopefully it won't be too much longer. We're in exactly the same situation for uh, the items that we were purchasing with the passive safety equipment grant. Those forks, they've been on back order 
the forks for the basket. And uh, it's two different companies. We're ordering the forks from one company and the basket from the other. And those who are ordering the basket from said, wait till the forks come in and actually measure them because sometimes they're they're not unique, you know, they're not uniform, and then you might not be able to fit it on your basket. So we're kind of maybe. Everything is back over here, yeah. For both of them. Everything. Yeah. Okay. So. So, any other questions for Heidi? Okay. Uh, for select board, the rec department is still looking for employees. We're looking for a full-time building and grounds employee and a part-time seasonal building and grounds employee. So please apply. We would be delighted to have you work for us. Right, Doug? Yes. Okay. Second, we need representatives, basically volunteers, to be on the CUD board. Um, so basically, if it's important for you to have a reliable internet, in the town of Highgate, please consider volunteering. We need two representatives from Highgate to be a part of this community communications union district. Um, it involves some meetings, uh, but mostly they would love to have your input. So as a representative of Highgate, they'd love to know that. What can we do to have better service here for our people? And the fact that Highgate and many other towns, we're not the only town that's struggling with this, that we don't have representatives showing up. They're having trouble getting quorums to make decisions, and there's right. so much hanging in the balance. Yeah, they actually have a lot of money that needs to be appropriated, but if they can't get people to show up to get a quorum, they can't vote to use that money, and I would expect it'll be a use it or lose it scenario. So. It's free money. Let's see if we can't help take care of that problem. Um, Sharon, see how you're at them on a topic. Uh, fall sports start next week for the rec, and we're still looking for volunteer coaches for uh, all age levels for soccer and all age levels for cross country. So do they need to have experience coaching? Absolutely not. Just more to help the kids and get out and participate. Um, Jess, our rec, our programs coordinator, will create practice plans for them. And go through the quick background check of it, as you would to go on a field trip with your kid at school. Yeah. And that's all. So basically, if you have time and you're willing, we definitely need you to help with the children. Yes. Okay. Good turnout for all sports. Good. Um, another thing is the sewer here. We've had someone come and look at it, and they're supposed to get back with us with an actual quote. So. That's another mm -hmm. thing we have in the works. Hopefully that needs to be speeded along prior to snow. Um, and then as a reminder, the kids have started school again. Uh, to all the children, have a great school year. To all the teachers and staff, thank you for all you do. And for the public, Please stop for school buses and their lights. Too many people are dying in Franklin County for stupid reasons. So let's keep our brains in full function here. Is there anything else for the select board? Okay. If there's any other comments, okay. Uh, I would motion to exit the regularly select uh, regularly scheduled select board meeting and enter into executive with Heidi Bridge Valenta. Ty, do you need us? No. Okay. Um,
Shelly, you're all set. Wendy, you're all set. I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock. Yep. No, I think we're good. Okay. We'll let you have a nice sane evening after all your drama the last nice. few days. You're not going to have any more. Hmm? You're not going to have any more nice sane evenings for at least two months. <laughs> <laughs> so can I have a second? I'll second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you all.